Hello and welcome to Zen in 10, where we focus upon the process and joy of drawing one tangle. Okay, move my pencil and my microns to the side. I have a two inch bijou tile. You can use whatever you want. And today's tangle is Courant by Zen Tangle Headquarters. Take your pencil and just pop little dot in each corner and now you're going to join those with a light quick stroke of your pencil to create a border. This gives you a nice framework. I want you to stop, pop your pencil to the side and just get one of your pens. I'm going to use a Micron 02 just in black can take the lid off and I want you just to stop for a second and take a deep breath and let that breath go and now popping your pen onto the tile I just want you to create some random lines that go across your tile they can be anything you like and you're going to create some spaces by creating these random lines. And I'm going to do another one down here. Okay, so you can see you've got lots of little spaces now. Choose a space. I'm going to choose this one. And with your pen, I want you to start creating an aura. That is just following the contours of that space. And you're going to create a spiral following those lines. One steady stroke at a time. This is your chance to focus just on the end of the pen the line that you're drawing. Be relaxed. Don't worry about what you are creating. I'm going to ink those in. And that's your first little section done. Turn your tile, choose one of the other sections and do exactly the same. As you do this, Think about how you are sitting. Are you comfortable? Are you warm or cool? How does your hand feel? Are you gripping your pen maybe too tightly? If you feel you are, just release and relax your fingers and hold your pen again. And you can do that at any time when you're tangling. You can see the end of your pen. Are you aware of the ink coming out of the pen? Entering into the paper surface to create this lovely line. We don't have to worry about the outcome because we are focusing purely on this pen stroke right now. What will happen will happen and that's okay. We don't worry about what it's going to look like. These Zen in 10 sessions are about showing you that you don't need to sit down for a long time just to find those moments of calm and peace that come from just allowing yourself a little creative moment. And these shapes are very interesting to 
follow. We have to focus on what we're doing. Don't rush, just take it at your pace. There's no race. As you're doing this, you might want to think about how you are breathing. Are you hunching your shoulders? Maybe just relax them a little bit. Allow your shoulders to drop down so that you've got an ease in your upper body. Your breath. Try not to hold your breath. As you're drawing these, why not breathe with the lines, allowing that air in and the air out. Don't hold your breath. Relax into simply drawing one line after another. And enjoying that process. Each space is different. Some are larger, some are smaller. Some have angled lines, some are curved. It doesn't matter what they are or how they are. You just know that you need to Start a line on the outer edge and draw it around and around until you reach the centre. And the fun of this is that each one is going to be very, very different. Just allowing that flow, that creative line flow you might need to turn your tile to enable you to create these lines. You don't have to overstretch. Maybe be conscious of the room or space that you are in. Is it warm? Is it cool? What noises can you hear? Is it very, very quiet or can you hear what is happening outside or around you? Maybe you've got some thoughts coming through your head. Recognise them. Let them come through. Just acknowledge them. You don't have to dwell on them. As you draw your lines, it's really nice to take a moment just to focus on something very simple that allows your busy brain to slow into an enjoyable and relaxing space. As we create more auras, you're creating a more complex image in front of you and that is literally one stroke at a time. And the simplicity is something joyful. And that's what we need to aim for, just finding those pockets of joy in our day, of our busy lives. And we all have busyness, things happening that distract us. So just taking these few minutes out of that busy day will be good for how you feel. Sometimes the longer lines require a little bit more attention as I'm coming in. I've nearly finished. Just going to pop a little bit here and I know I've got one little tiny space. Oh no, I've got two. I'm literally just going to pop a little line in the centre because they're very tiny so they don't need an aura. So that is my 
courant drawn. I'm going to pop my pen to one side, get my pencil and we're going to add some shade and I'm going to do cushion shading and that means I'm going to put graphite all the way around the outer edge with the side of your pencil, not the point. Your pencil is not for drawing as such, it's a holder of graphite that you want to spread onto your tile. The point would compress the paper fiber, fibers and we don't want to do that. Okay, so you can see I, I've made quite a bold graphite line. Getting my tortillon, I'm going to go around that edge, little circular moves, just to fix those graphite particles into the paper surface. To start with, it gives a more even texture of the graphite. And cushion shading basically means going around the outside. I can explain more about that in my Shade it with Confidence class. But today is just about enjoying this process. So now I've done that, I'm just going to soften around the outer edge of that graphite that I've pulled towards the centre. And that's enough to do there. I'm now going to get my pencil and I'm just going to add some graphite where there are some points of the lines. So it's almost like going out to the corners. And this will just define and give these sections some individuality. You can see just where the points are and it doesn't have to be all of them. It can just be a few of them. I'll do another one there. Now you've done those lines, you're going to just soften them so that they lose that harsh line, but you're not spreading the graphite out towards the, the white lines. You need some contrast when you're shading. You need to have some white that actually contrasts with the gray of the graphite. And as you can see, what that does now is it just gives this a little bit more movement. I can add a little bit in here. Gives that whole piece of tangling a little bit more movement. Okay, I'm going to get my pen and I'm going to add my chop on the front or you can pop your initials. It's entirely up to you. Got a Z and a J-O for Zenjo. I now want you to turn your tile over and sign and date it on the back for the day that you're completing this. And once you've done that, I want you to pick it up, have a look at it, appreciate it, enjoy the fact that you've just spent a few moments for yourself tangling. Thank you for joining me.